hello everyone welcome back again so in this segment uh, we are going to uh, see a uh, a network model known as arthur's rainy random graph model so this model is known as the simplest model of graph so this model has two variants the first variant says that this is also known as gnp so this variant says that uh, if a under undirected graph g who has the number of node is n n node and each edge uv appears with a probability p okay so e according to this variant according to the variance if we have uh, n node it has it needs two parameter number of node n and p is the probability that if we pick any random node uh, uh, the probability of having a edge between them is p okay so the second variance is uh, known as g n and m okay n is the number of node and m is the number of edge so if we have a undirected graph g with n node and uh, we can pick a m uniformly at ra uh, we can pick a m number of edge as a uniformly random picked edges okay so in this discussion we are going to see the first variance where we are going to have the need the two parameter n and p so um, this is a very simple model of graph and as we said in our earlier segment that we saw a network properties in a real world network okay now how we are going to understand that uh, that network properties um, I mean how was the uh, how was the network properties for that real world network so to compare that uh, for the comparison we need a reference model okay and uh, these are those Rainey's random graph model this is a very simplest model of graph we we use this model of graph as a reference model to compare uh, the results of real world network okay now for this um, model we are going to also calculate the three uh, three key properties so degree distribution uh, average path length and average clustering coefficient okay and at the end we are going to compare the two results so we are going to compare the results of um, our real world network msn graph and we are going to msn graph with the reference graph model so um the idea is that this network this model is so simple that calculation of de uh, degree distribution clustering coefficient and average path length also very simple okay so first of all we have to understand here we need a uh, two parameter n and p all right now the important thing we have to understand that n and p doesn't actually only characterize the look of the graph how the graph will look like it it can be different each time for the same value of n and p so and the creation of the graph how we are going to find the edges is totally a random event okay so let's see if our value of n is 5 and p equals to 0.2 so it means that 20 percent probability that um, that there will be edge between two nodes so with the same value of n and p the graph may look different at different time okay now here uh, we have n node five node now what is the probability that we pick uh, any random two node and uh, the probability is 20 percent that there is going to be edge so let's see in the first run we find this graph so in the second run we may find actually more number of edges okay and in the third run we may also find a complete graph that means we pick a any two node and 20 percent probability uh, probability that they are going to be connected so we may find a graph like that okay so that is the idea that each time the total uh, the total event is random so how the graph will look like it's a random process so having the same value of n and p 
each time we are going to create a graph with the same value of n and p the graph may look like different okay all right now let's calculate the network property so first property is degree distribution so for this random graph model degree distribution of pk how we are going to calculate that so we know that pk uh, is the fraction of node that has degree k so how many fraction of node has degree k okay so let's see draw a graph all right so um so we are going to find out let's uh, see we are going to pick a node and with how many node uh, with uh, i mean um, we are going to find out the value uh, pk that means uh, with how many node this node has h okay so we are going to find out the fraction that how many node has degree distribution k so uh, so so that means say let's see for this node okay if this node has a degree k that means with k other node it will have a h right all right so uh, we are going to find out that so picking a one node there are uh, i mean uh, what are the combination that uh, picking one node uh, what are the combination that uh, this node is going to be connected with k other node all right all right so when we are going to pick a node there is going to be n minus one other node left okay and within this n minus one other node we are going to pick k node okay that has a connection with this node so th that combination will be n minus 1 choose k so select k node out of n n minus 1 okay so within this n minus 1 so we are going to pick k node that have the connection that have the edges with this node so this combination will be n minus 1 choose k all right now probability of having k edges so for this node what is the probability that uh, that the node will have k edges okay and this one will have the value p to the power k so the probability is p that any random two node is going to have the edge okay and k other edge k other uh, node the, uh, k other node is going to have the connection with this node so the probability will be p to the power k now there will be other so when we uh, when this node has connection with k other node there is going to be other node n minus 1 by k node okay so the rest of the node will be n minus 1 minus k so this node within this node this node is not going to have the connection or this node is not going to have the edge with this n minus 1 minus k node okay so if p is the probability of having the edge between two random node 1 minus p is the probability not having the edge okay so for that the probability of missing the rest of the n minus 1 minus k h will be 1 minus p to the power n minus 1 minus k okay and that will be the fraction of node which has degree k and from that theory we can uh, i mean uh, we can see that this actually follows a binomial distribution okay so here you can see that um, a binomial distribution always looks like this okay so here uh, from the plot you can see that with uh, having different value of p and um, n all right having different value of p and n each time we plot the graph it will always looks like it will follow a binomial distribution all right okay 
now if we can calculate the binomial distribution we can actually calculate a important measure is average node degree okay so average node degree will be p to the uh, p times n minus 1 so uh, the mean value uh, mean average degree the average uh, uh, node degree here is p times n minus 1 so how actually we find that um, if you remember the average degree of a graph a undirected graph is defined as 2 times e by n okay e is the number of uh, maximum edges uh, uh, e is the number of maximum edges and n is the number of uh, node okay and e is we know that the value of e is n times n minus 1 by 2 okay let's use the same in here so here it will be so 2 times n times n minus 1 by here n is 2 and if we find we can find that the average uh, degree is n minus 1 but the thing is that here we have p probability probability p is that any node is going to be connected so this value n minus 1 this value is the average degree for a complete graph okay so n minus 1 um, so when e is e uh, e equals to e max we know that the graph is a complete graph okay now for a complete graph the average degree value is n minus 1 now for this g and p uh, the probability p is that any two node is going to be connected okay so here average degree will be n minus 1 times p all right and from the same here we can actually calculate the variance which will be p times 1 minus p times n minus 1 all right so let's see the rest of the items So same here we can calculate the uh, clustering coefficient of G and P. Okay. So this is the equation of clustering coefficient. Um, we know the number of edges between the neighbors divided times 2 divided by number of neighbor neighbors. Ki is the number of neighbors. Ki times Ki minus 1. Okay. So Ei is the number of edges between the neighbors and ki is the number of neighbors of node i okay now for this graph model the value of ei will be um, ki times ki minus 1 by 2 uh, with probability p okay so if a node let's see um, let's see this is the node we want to calculate the clustering coefficient okay and this node has ki number uh, ki neighbor okay five neighbor all right so this node has five neighbors now the possibility that uh, the uh, uh, what is the maximum number of edges this neighbor could get between them okay so if there are five neighbors the maximum possibility number of neighbors uh, the maximum possibility number of edges between these five neighbors is um, ki times ki minus one by two which is actually ki choose two okay so this is the maximum possibility number that all of these neighbors are going to have a connection between each other so this is the number of possible edges between these neighbors okay now as uh, the p is the probability that any random two no uh, node can have edges so that number of neighbors the so number of edges between the neighbors is going to be ki times ki minus 1 by 2 which is the maximum possible number of edges between them and with probability p okay now if we have the fine if we have the number of edges we can actually 
calculate the clustering coefficient okay so ei value and we are going to just use the value of ei and we will find the clustering coefficient is same as the value of the probability okay p so here uh, the p value we can also uh, if we compare the results with that average degree uh, if we remember uh, our um, average degree we calculated as p times n minus 1 okay so that means p equals to average degree by n minus 1 all right and this is almost equals to k times by n uh, sorry average degree by n okay n is the number of node so here the clustering coefficient of a random graph we will find actually very small value okay so the clustering coefficient is going to be actually very small value so uh, and what happens if our we can see that average degree by n okay if the value of n gets high the clustering coefficient the value of p will be also small okay so if the number of node if the number of node the value of n gets higher the value of p is going to get smaller so if we generate a bigger and bigger graph with a fixed average degree k okay so then p value is k by n so the clustering co coefficient the c value is going to be actually decreases with the graph size of n because p equals to k uh, average k degree by n so if the uh, size of n gets higher the clustering coefficient is going to get uh, a also smaller value and it depends on the decreases it will decrease with the graph size of n um, now for the average path length uh, is actually calculated like order of log n okay so so the uh, in the in, this is the interesting thing that in the random graph model uh, the random graph model can really grow to be very large but the average path length it's actually really small value and it's a log of n okay so it can be very large but the node will be just a few hops uh, apart so the average path length of a random graph model it's actually very small all right all right so if we now finalize if we have the summary of um, three key properties of random graph model we are going to see that uh, the degree distribution follows a binomial distribution so path length is order of log n which is actually very small value clustering coefficient also gets a very small value that means it doesn't create a very highly connected group okay and the value is average degree by n all right now let's just put them together and uh, let's compare the result okay so in the msn degree distribution we uh, actually saw it was not that very interesting but um, uh, we saw that very few number of uh, node has a very sorry very few um, a large number of people has a very low number of degree distribution okay so in the logarithmic scale this graph was look like this okay so very large number of people has really a lower degree low degree okay now in the random graph model the degree distribution is actually it follows a binomial distribution okay now path length if we compare path length in the msn in the path length the average path length was 6.6 .6, and in the reference model our uh, random graph model if uh, order of log n so if we use actually the same type of value in the msn the value is going to be also not that high it's around slightly higher than the msn okay so here also the average path length is not that high 
but the clustering coefficient is actually very very low for random graph model so in the clustering uh, MSN also the clustering coefficient was small value but uh, in the random graph model the clustering coefficient is really a very small value so if we consider the so now uh, if we compare the real network versus the random graph model let's see how actually they are going to work now are the real network like the random graph so um in the real network has a giant connected component and from the average path length if we have the average path length of sorry if we have the average path length of 6.6 .6, from that value we can see that uh, the real network has a giant connected component so average path length result was good and we get a giant component so this result looks good so average path length also looks good and the clustering coefficient that was really a small value not that good so degree distribution actually also didn't give us a good result also not that good okay now the problems with the random network model is that degree distribution actually differs that from the real network okay so the degree distribution we find it was actually like kind of it was actually very standard here it looks actually very good okay but it uh it's it it was actually very very different from the real world network okay now from the clustering coefficient value was really very very low okay so it means that there was no local structure there was no actually uh, tightly connected group so that that's why the clustering coefficient was really very very low now if we compare these two network uh, the one important question may come to our mind that are the real networks are random so if we look at our real uh, network say uh, let's see just a, any friendship network okay so we uh, got five people uh, we got six people and we can ask actually that the friendship happens randomly okay so does just if we pick any two um, if we pick any two node if the friendship if the friendship between them is it a random event the answer is actually no okay so all the real networks uh, the real networks uh, they are not actually a random event so that's why actually the result the uh, especially the degree distribution result was actually very very different okay and our real most of the real social network um, i mean uh, real social network they are not a random event okay so having two edges between any node is not a random event okay it actually happens based on some criteria all right so friendship happens based on some criteria it's not a random event so that's why a real network um May a real network actually looks like uh, looks very different than a random graph model okay but still actually why actually we are going to study because uh, the, this is going to be the re reference model for the rest of the for rest of our discussion okay and this model is going to actually help us calculate many quantities such as uh, that can uh, then we can actually compare them to the real data and it is going to actually help us to understand in what degree is a particular property the result is going to um the result is doing some random process all right so that is all the discussion about random graph model okay so in this uh, module we talked about a random graph model which is also the simplest graph model all right and this random graph model is also a reference model and um we can use this reference model to characterize other networks all right so um and and also this is the discussion of uh, end of discussion of our module 3 okay so we are going to see you in the next module